So I think most people still don't really know. It's only the people I think that have dived into like just learning a lot about nutrition and, and, and stuff in the last few years that are really familiar with this concept of the vegetable oils and the seed oils being harmful. Mm-hmm. Can you just briefly elaborate on where are these oils? How can we avoid them? Where, where Why are they harmful? Where are they? And how can we avoid them? <laughs> yeah. 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 So they are in um, almost everything we eat. Uh, it, soybean oil in particular has become the single most common source of fat calories in the in the in the human diet. Mm. So the average person today on the planet will get most of their fat from soybean oil, and that's because most of their fat is coming from processed foods. Soybean oil and it's uh, it's like the other ones like safflower or cottonseed or canola. They're mm. all kind of variations of the same theme. Um, they're in every processed food. Uh, and and m- I can only speak to what um, in my specific area of expertise, although there are others who would speak on um, other aspects of the harms of soybean oil um, with more author- authority than me. But the primary fat in these oils is a fat called linoleic acid. And linoleic acid, we're eating tens of thousands of times more of it than we ever have in all of human history. Um, there's nothing comparable. We eat more. Uh, the, the, the people would say, "Well, we eat a lot more sugar." Yeah, but not fifty thousand times more sugar than we did a hundred <laughs> years ago. Um, so this is something that went from essentially zero, um, you know, being a very modest part in natural fat sources. Like all animal fats have a little bit of linoleic acid, but it's very little. Um, n- now, of course, to being the main fat we eat. But linoleic acid, one of its metabolic fates is to turn into a molecule. A molecule called the abbreviation is 4HNE. Um, 4HNE uh, is a molecule that can accumulate in cells and fat cells in particular. And um, when it's accumulating in fat cells, it will force fat cells to grow through a pathway or to grow through a process called hypertrophy. And so this is when each individual fat cell is expanding. This is a problem because as the fat cell expands, it eventually reaches a point beyond which it is reluctant to grow. And that, and then it starts to become very, very resistant to insulin. And it's leaking free fatty acids into the bloodstream. At the same time, it's becoming very pro-inflammatory and it's leaking pro-inflammatory proteins, promoting inflammation throughout the body. And the combination of those things is quite a wicked one. And, and they start promoting insulin resistance throughout the rest of the body. So to bring that all back to the origin here, too much linoleic acid results in the accumulation of 4-HNE in fat cells, which make fat cells inflamed and very fat, ultimately promoting insulin resistance throughout the body. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so thanks for that explanation. And, and that starts to uh, teeter on the edge of, uh, of the, <laughs> the overly scientific stuff that I know a lot of yeah. people might have a hard time uh, wrapping their heads around, but uh, <laughs> no offense, obviously it's good to get that explanation. No, no, I, I, I'm just none taken. Think, yeah. thinking like, like the listener or whatever, but, uh, um, but to kind of summarize again, some of those nutritional points that you made, 